A YouTuber creates the greatest mobile game of all time? A games community completely fucking implodes? Bikini babes getting screwed for the wrong reasons? And Twitch just gives up and says, fuck it, we're YouTube now. You can't even take a week off in this goddamn industry without everything falling apart. Well, have no fear, cause Tugs is here. We're back, baby! Here we go! Obviously a lot has happened since Ricky bailed on America and decided to go hang out with those cheese-eating surrender monkeys over in Flaunts. But that doesn't mean that the gaming industry stopped being a gigantic clusterfuck because plenty of dumb shit went down over the past two weeks, but we don't have time to go through all no. of it. Plus, you don't want to hear about news that's already more than a week old anyway, because you have ADHD. The doctor said so. Yeah. And the fact that you could set down your controller for more than a few minutes to watch this garbage fucking piece of shit show already has us impressed. Good job, kid. So yeah. let's just start with something that's, um... Ah, oh, this story is a week old. God damn it. Oh, well, whatever. Listen, mobile games suck. We can all agree on that. They're mostly boring, pointless, riddled with microtransactions, and there's so many out there these days that you'll waste more time trying to find a worthwhile game than actually playing one. But that ends now, because internet hero PewDiePie has finally released his mobile game into the wild, and it's actually... Okay, it's mostly boring, mundane, sure, it has microtransactions. But uh, at least it's well made. It's called PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator, and it allow and that's how he pronounces it, and that's how I'm gonna pronounce Racist. it. Racist. No, that's how he says it. So obviously that's how he wants it portrayed. It's tuber he's similar. He's not just some Swedish chef, he's a person. Already gordy. He doesn't go in the kitchen and go hordy gordy 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 then Anyways, like, it's called the chickens on the ground. It's called PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator, and oh. it allows you to step into our shoes and become huge YouTubers by simply making clickbait videos, having a kick-ass room to film them in, and waiting for those fat paychecks to roll in. Uh, it's honestly just a time suck where you can design a room with some unlockable decorations and Okay, it gets boring after about a week, but so did Pokemon Go. And I'm really only talking about it so that you can add me as a friend on there and send me gifts so I can make my room look cooler than yours. My name on the uh, app is, yeah, you guessed it, Ricky FTW. Add me, send me gifts. Nerd! Okay, enough of that shameless dick suck. <sighs> Let's talk about boobs, because yeah, I'm boobs. straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm a straight man. Yeah. Cis white man. You guys yeah. are all here for boobs anyway. Yeah. You, you won't be surprised to find out that yet another bikini streamer is in hot water. Mm. And no, we're not talking about the Tugs Jacuzzi that we keep in the back. The invitation's still out there. Yeah, if you wanna come by. Women. I didn't say girls, I said women. Because mm -hmm. I respect the bikini streamers. Yeah. So anyway, this has to be, uh, you know, YouTube's got a strict policy against sexually suggestive content, so. That's probably what the reason that I'm sure happening. that is. They've been cracking down on people like us recently for even mentioning things that might upset people. In this case, you're wrong. Yeah. It's not about that. It's actually all thanks to the overly aggressive copyright police funded by the Fox Network. Uh-oh, they're coming for us. Her name is Zoe Berger. And in an apparent moment of sheer brilliance, she decided to align herself with a popular character owned by Fox named Zoidberg. Yeah. I see the connection. That's Dr. Zoidberg. The lovable lobster-esque doctor from Futurama. Yeah. According to her videos, which we only viewed briefly, she refers to her fans as Zoidberg Nation and utilizes graphical overlays on some videos which show the character right next to a message about how you can donate to her. You know, Fox apparently doesn't think it's very funny and sent her a cease and desist letter which she decided to share with Kotaku, a real journalistic site. Uh, anyways, uh, the letter said that she should stop doing that, stop, stop showing the image, and it also said that the uh, showing the image, quote, creates consumer confusion because users encountering it will assume that Fox sponsors, endorses, or authorizes the use of the Fox IP or the content of your channel when neither is true. Shade. Shade. Uh, it also says that if she doesn't follow the orders, she will, quote, have to pay damages up to $150,000 per copyright infringement, along with any profits. Now, the simple thing to do here would be, you know, stop using the fucking Zoidberg graphic and delete yeah. the videos where you used him, right? That would be the first thing that you would do. When I'm looking at a pretty girl, I don't want to think about crabs. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's like lobster-ish. He's not anything. He's a doctor. Crab. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Apparently she has stopped using Zoidberg in recent videos, but she kept the original videos up because we can assume that she doesn't want to lose all those precious, precious views that she got by playing video games. You know, fuck up your social naked. blade score. It sure will. It, it fucked ours does. up. Yeah. Anyways, uh, she says she'll get fully naked at a million subscribers or something. Okay. She's pretty far Better off. Better like, but... favorite, and subscribe. Anyways, here's a pro tip, guys. Google the word tits, and then just get over it. But they're not her tits. Remember back in the day when there was the internet was small? 
And uh, <laughs> yeah, the internet was small back in the day. But there were people that would like Photoshop celebrities onto, oh, onto naked the, yeah. people. Like, but really bad. Well, back then it was like Jennifer Aniston, Cindy Crawford, uh, Scully from the X Files. Yeah, There's a lot Buffy. of a lot of her. Oh yeah, tons of Buffy. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, they're real. I swear, bro. That mom from the mo from the show Dinosaurs. My friend works for Nintendo. He uh, or he, my friend. Yeah, I got works Sonya for Blade <laughs> nudes right here. So yeah, but uh, you guys know what's more controversial than tits on the internet? No Man's Sky. Oh yeah. Oh. And you best believe that the drama surrounding this game still has not come to an end, despite the fact that this. Half baked, spaced out Minecraft simulator. Has, simulator. Simulator has been out for like two <sighs> months now. Wow, the it time really has come to an end. lifted that from my review. Simulator. Yeah, that's what I said. Review simulator. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this week the No Man's Sky subreddit, which had become a sort of hate filled waste hole of no actual discussion, was completely deleted for hours until being turned back on and handed over to new moderators. So the, the original moderator, user Rogue Wolf, was the one that called it a hate-filled waste hole, and he also added the following. It's not what we intended it to be, and I don't like providing a platform for hate. I'm sorry to everyone who used the subreddit as intended, but you are now in the majority. I think he means minority, mm -hmm. but uh, he might have been confused. He was very angry at the time. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Uh, it's back up now and continues to be a place where people can complain while no one who matters even cares to listen. But that's probably because the people at Hello Games might be a bit more preoccupied by the fact that they are being investigated for misleading consumers by the Advertising Standards Authority. Yeah, it used to be Hello Games, but now anytime the phone rings, they're probably like, Hello. Hello. Games. Games. We do games now. Oh god, we're being sued. Yeah. So yeah, we missed that story last week because Ricky was getting drunk in Germany. That's why you should never drink and never leave America. Yeah. But uh, someone else has been missing recently as well. Someone way more important than either of us. He's been gone way longer too. That person is Jimmy Hoffa. Supposedly yeah. he was put inside of a concrete, concrete brick. brick that we'll never find by yeah. the Teamsters. No, we're actually talking about Sean Murray. <laughs> yeah. Where is Sean Murray? Where in the world is, is Sean Murray from Hello Games? We got like the Heisenberg like look, and he's yeah. driving around in he a has, car. He shaved his beard into a mustache. Yeah, but he might actually come out of hiding sometime soon because the god of gaming jizzleism, Joff Kiley, is a <laughs> big enough star. Jeff Keeley. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Jeff Keeley. <laughs> <laughs> Joff Kylie. Joff Kylie's a big enough star that Murray can't help but orbit him. Yeah, because that's how space works. In real space. It's not static. Things rotate around yeah. each other and shit. Plus, Kylie is <laughs> launching a new YouTube gaming show later this month, and it would be huge for his ratings. Although, I wouldn't hold my breath. If you're in space, you have to hold your breath. <laughs> no one can hear you uh, scream. Uh, uh, you know, if he does actually appear on the show, it'll probably be just to, like, apologize profusely and attempt to make people feel sorry for him instead of you know, announcing new features for the game that'll still probably never exist. What was that other game, the only other game they made where it was like a side-scrolling trials Joe kind of Danger. thing? Joe Danger. Yeah, he's gonna come on and be like, we got a big announcement. Joe, Joe Danger. Danger 2 is coming out. I gonna be 3. It, uh, Joe Danger 3 is coming out. Hello. And there's gonna be six story tall dinosaurs in it. And oh. in Joe Danger, the hers gravitational pull actually has an effect on the character, so it's fine. This Sean Murray guy's gonna end up like living in like a farm and in like Belize, like uh, John McAfee. It's gonna be just like off <laughs> yeah, the grid. Yeah, is gonna go do an interview yeah. and <laughs> blow his cover. Anyways, uh, we haven't talked shit about Twitch recently, so oh. uh, first of all, good for them for uh, not getting shit talked by us. But it's mainly because unlike YouTube, who takes their community for granted, Twitch recently gave back in a big way by allowing Amazon Prime users to have one free subscription to a uh, Twitch streamer of their choice, which essentially gives that person $5 a month for any Prime user who chose them. I mean, Twitch takes their cut, whatever. Two fifths. This is all insider trading. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cool, and uh, it's one of the first things that Twitch has done uh, with its Amazon partnership, and it wasn't even evil, so that's cool, right? But, uh, you know, since then, they are doubling down on their efforts to take on YouTube with an idea that's just so crazy, it might actually work. Yeah, guys, you know how... It, okay, so they're debuting this new insane technology. Yeah. Now listen closely. Really follow me here. Your eyes here. It allows users to upload pre-recorded videos, not yeah. live ones, ones that they make <sighs> and Risky. then put up later. They, they put that on their channels. And you don't have to be there at a specific time. By the way, everything that you watch on our channel is live. A anytime anyone watches another video, we have to redo it. This live. is live. We're watching it right along with you, Chris. So yeah, they're they make. It's not a live streaming platform anymore. It's yeah. just a video platform. So wow, what a paradigm shift that will certainly shake up the industry. Yeah. Seriously though, it is a, a you know it's a silly feature. 
it might actually do a lot of good for users who don't have any kind of following on YouTube or who have abandoned the site in recent years to do Twitch full time. Not me. APL. Yeah. <laughs> no word yet on if they will implement something like a subscriber feed, but that would make sense too. Either way, Twitch is really hitting some high marks in the face of recent YouTube PR nightmares. So good for them. Yeah. Way to swoop in while the boyfriend's drunk. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Grab it by the pussy. Mm -hmm. But speaking of PR nightmares, Gears of War 4 might be looking right down the barrel of a Lancer because they quite possibly fucked over a ton of people who pre-ordered the game. Oh, what else is new? Uh, here on Tugs, we constantly tell you that pre-ordering games is Stupid. bad for you, but you and me, we just don't listen. What are you doing? This time around, it's not a buggy game that's causing people stress. It's the fact that these specific pre-orders came with four days of early access for people who purchased them, which is kind of fucking messed up in the first place because people who can't afford these premium editions are just gonna get shit on when they get the game on normal release because everyone's gonna have the fucking best gear and they're gonna know the maps. It's gonna be unfair. Super Lancer. It's like the people that get games on Christmas and they just get shit on and start Christmas crying. Christmas noobs. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is specifically for people who ordered on Amazon. Ugh. Damn it, we just got done saying they were doing something good with Twitch and then they have to go and fuck it up! What's the deal with Amazon? <laughs> so due to a delay within the company and the fact that Monday is sort of a national holiday where everyone still has to go to work for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Businesses don't honor Businesses it. Businesses don't honor it. Ours, ours doesn't. Native Americans, they definitely don't honor it. Oh yeah, because it's Columbus. He killed <laughs> them all. Yeah. Uh, users who spend $100 for the ultimate edition of Gears of War 4, or even $250 for a version that came with a statue. Ugh. What a waste of money. Yeah. They might have to face the agonizing reality that they aren't special, and they might not get to play the game until its actual release date on Tuesday, October 11th. Oh, wow, ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 Damn. Anyways, hopefully this will just put another nail in the pre-order coffin, but who are we kidding? You people never fucking learn. You don't learn, you're dumb and you're children. But within our office lives a man whose bravery cannot be denied. A man who never pre-orders games. Because he gets them for free. Yeah. <laughs> a man who stares major publishers and distributors in the face week after week and says, You're trash! But I'll still play your free game. Yeah. And they can't understand him anyway because he has mush mouth. <laughs> Anyways, this is a man who doesn't abide by the rules of Serious basic- Serious condition. <laughs> he doesn't abide by the rules of basic grammar and sentence structure, nor should he. No. And that man has a name, and his name is Shibby, and he's here to talk about your favorite topic, Ugh. Call of Duty! Oh! <laughs> What's up, Tugs boys and Tugs girls? I'm back, like Fousey too from his community college reading class. Oh! I'll be the first to admit I need to sign up for that myself. Unfortunately, I have the displeasure to review the most hyped- Ingenuity! <laughs> to review the most hyped, re-released, remastered, <laughs> high-definition remake, Call of Duty Warfare Remastered. PlayStation users rejoice because Sony was able to whore out harder than Microsoft <laughs> to, secure, to secure those early access to play 30 days early. Right. What are you idiots so... <laughs> It sounds like you're a, like an RC plane that's flying by. Yeah. <laughs> well, you idiots who overhyped this release or re-release is a goddamn scam. I am more than the entire Battle of Friel franchise. You call Battle Friel. You Call of Duty fanboys think this remastered edition is the second coming of Jesus Christ Himself. But Chevy, what is wrong with that? My nostalgia, my nostalgia blue balls are ready to explode. It's gonna be dropping lows all over COD 4. Oh my God! And remember the times. Well, I hate to break it to you, viewer. The remastered version of this game is a marketing ploy to get you all Mountain Dude soaked Dorito crusted delivery dudes and prevent you from returning the initial <laughs> purchase. That's right. It's a trap to sell you more copies. Infinite Warfare with the highest price point <laughs> while forcing you to keep the Infinite Warfare disc to play your precious COD 4. They're tricking you to buying this goddamn so early that you can't return the game once this dumpster fire <laughs> Infinite Warfare actually releases in November. It's a ploy to get you all hot and bothered, like Billy the Fridge wanting to kill Leafy. It's a goddamn tactic and parents just don't understand. Borderline <laughs> Hello Games level of shivy criminal. Sure, the graphics are better and the game doesn't drop below 60 frames per second. I would expect this from new hardware running a retouch game that was initially released years ago on old platforms. 
scripted events that you know are coming since you played this shit before, play it out. Every first person shooter these days forces you on these linear paths, then groping you like Sam Pepper style with these spectacular scripted moments. By now, nine years later, it's simply not impressive. Let <laughs> Lesbian. Like, like, it's like if you're at, if you're drunk at a debate yeah. and someone's like, the topic is games. This is how Hitler became the uh, leader <laughs> yeah. of Germany. Yeah, you should go on Jeff Keighley's show. Let's be honest. All Gilly oh. up is not that <laughs> not that great a mission, and the grass still looks low poly. Come on, Activision. I'm not gonna fall for it. You are not tricking me into buying a game I already bought in 2007. In addition to that dumpster by fire that will be Infinite Warfare, I must rate this game 0 out of 3,258, the number of days since the initial COD 4 release date. Woo! <sighs> Say what you want about diversity. The fact that we keep the special needs people employed yeah. says a lot about who we are as people. Yeah, wow. Anyways guys, I'm playing Forza Horizon 3 right now, and I don't really think it's as great as people are making it out to be. Aww. But I could be wrong. I enjoy most things that people seem to hate, so I guess I'm just backwards. I'll give it some more time this weekend to see if anything changes, but I'm really just trying to waste time till Battlefield 1 comes out, which yes, I pre-ordered. I'm as bad as you. Stupid! Why do people like Forza Horizon Duh. 3 so much? It's good. It looks good. The cars are shiny. You can see the reflection on the car. They do have a uh, custom paint job. So like I got a custom paint job on my Land Rover that looked like the Jurassic Park car. How much did you pay for that paint job? Zero dollars. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So I guess it's cool. I, I just don't see the point. So and they offer a sombrero. It's, it's fun. It's boring. Whatever. I'll just go drive a real car. Okay. Driving in LA is terrible. Yeah. It's not real driving. That's true. All right. Finish the episode. Watch our other shows. On our podcast, we talk about ghosts. On Weekly Weird News, we submitted our Pulitzer Prize winning piece of journalism about clowns yeah, and tried like to it. show both sides of the argument and succeeded. So, and then on Tech I don't two, think we gave the creepy clowns a good side. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right, we didn't. On uh, Tech News Day, uh, Martin Shkreli might be bailing out 4chan. So there's that. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Anyways, check out all other stuff and uh, subscribe to the channel. And then uh, Chibi gets criminal. It. I need a beer. No, you need a potato. Sound like you've had a few. Yeah. Give us a like. You you reek of alcohol. Fun fact, when Shibby gets drunk, he starts talking like a normal human being. Yeah. Pussy too. Return my text. Yeah, Shibby got drunk the other night and he was like, I don't know guys, I really don't think that the COD remastered thing is going to be all that great. It was completely normal. <laughs>